Thanks, Angela. You'll be shocked to know many college students are no longer turning to an extra large coffee to help them before cramming for a big exam. A common drug is on the rise on many campuses. I'm at a dose three times what even street users use it at, like for recreational uses. Penn State student John Engelhart was diagnosed with ADD five years ago when he was a junior in high school. A drawn out diagnosis that usually occurs around the age of seven. I didn't feel like I had a detriment. Like, my mom was the one that took me in to have me diagnosed. So, like, I went through 11 grades before I even was diagnosed with a learning disorder. Adderall, a common prescription drug given to ADD patients, forces them to have a tunnel like focus on one task. Studies show more college students who have not been diagnosed with ADD are turning to the drug to improve their school performance. But most of them don't realize the negative effects it may have. PSU psychiatrist Victoria Stout works with students who suffer from ADD every single day. People could unintentionally get addicted to something. So even though they're taking it to study, if they don't have ADD, they might build up a tolerance they need. So they might get into dangerous doses. In November, a recent college graduate in Virginia became so addicted to the drug that he committed suicide two weeks after his doctor stopped prescribing it to him. John says he can relate to what the young man might have been feeling. I've seen those kind of swings in myself too, not as drastic per se, but I've noticed huge ups and huge downs just because of the medicine. And it's not like it, it's a gradual, it's not gradual at all. I connected a lot with that story and that's kind of the real difficult part. Yet students continue to seek out Adderall when crunch time comes around. Like, Ten years ago it'd be like, oh, I'm drinking a pot of coffee. Now it's like a cup of Starbucks costs as much as a pill. Some students even go as far as faking the symptoms to try to get their own prescription while those with the disorder who take the drug on a daily basis wish they never had to. Adderall is almost becoming the new norm among college campuses. I'm Joanna Rojas, back to you at the news desk.